Not only are humans still evolving, their evolution since the dawn of agriculture is faster than ever before. The human population living on different parts of the globe have been evolving on divergent trajectories, reflects the different condition of their habitats. To fly has always been a dream of man, to flutter in the breeze and have a taste of clouds. But sadly, we are land dwellers. So is there any possible explanation about why are we on land and not in the air? What is the possibility of developing wings? And here's why humans can evolve to fly in future. We need to look back in history and evolutionary events to know how and why flight evolved. Evolution is limited by developmental and genetic constraints. If an adoption is useful to a lineage, chances are that it will be preserved. The scientific way to approach how flight evolved in a group depends on what its testers were doing, their behavior and what they could do. Since all we have is fossil record with seldom preserved records of complex behavior, it becomes necessary to formulate hypotheses of ancestral behavior based on ancestral adoptions. If there were no trees around, a fly could hardly be a tree dweller. If we have fossilized tracks of our probable ancestor, then we can tell how it is moving on the ground. Flies appears to have evolved separately four times in history, in insects, bats, birds and pterosaurs. These four groups of flying animals didn't evolve from a single flying ancestor. Instead, they all evolved their ability to fly from separate ancestors that couldn't fly. This makes flight a case of convergent evolution. But the main fact is that we could have evolved to fly if our ancestors before Homo sapiens adopted the same behavior as the flying mammals did. You can see bats flying and also heard of flying dinosaurs. They don't have feathers, they somehow evolved to have like wings of skin. That's only for what we didn't do, but now let's see what we can do and what is the possibility that we could evolve to fly in future. Well, virtually impossible, but the easiest way to evolve as a fly would be a start with a glider. And the easiest way to start is with tree dwelling creatures. And from there, something like a bat. But to even begin to evolve in that direction, all species would need to subject some sort of selective pressure that would favor the development of proto-wings. To evolve with useful wings, we would also need to become smaller, lose most of the muscle mass in our legs and nearly all of our teeth in order to just be light enough. If our wings evolved from arms, we would be much clumsier and lose the benefit of our hands. If they grew as separate limbs, we would need to reorganize our skeleton and muscle structure over millions of years. But what if we had wings? Then you might wonder what would be their wingsman. The extinct bird Argentavis magnificens weighed about as much as an adult human and it had a wingspan of 7 meters, four times the average human arm span. This bird had lots of other adoptions to allow it to fly though, including the muscles to support these wings and flap them. Hand gliders which allow humans to fly are 9 to 10 meter across. Do you think it would be great if we had wings? Subscribe and join us on a journey where we will take you through interesting scenarios and answer the voice stuff.